The Chrysanthemums is a masterpiece by John Steinbeck, one of the finest stories in American literature and a story that seems almost perfect in form and style. The Chrysanthemums, the fence and the garden all portray Alisa as a lonely woman trapped in a marriage who craves for her husband's love, affection and passion. The story is set in Salinas Valley, California. It begins with a description of the valley. Elisa Allen, Henry's wife, likes working in her flower gardens, tending to her chrysanthemums. Elisa is a 35-year-old lady, attractive and clear-eyed, although clad in a masculine gardening outfit. We see the symbolic connection between the valley and Elisa's life. The valley is described as a closed pod, which suggests that Elisa's existence is similarly airless. The atmosphere is chilly, but not yet devoid of hope. Similarly, Elisa is probably not in the best of spirits, yet she is hopeful. Uh, I think the main character Elisa is going through a midlife crisis and I think that her stagnant monotonous and settled life has caused this crisis. She has a hard working and caring husband, a big farm and a comfortable life, yet she is deeply unsatisfied. I think this is possible because she believes she can be so much more instead of just being a stay at home wife. And I think that a lot of us are going through this feeling that we can be more than what we presently are. The chrysanthemum symbolizes both Elisa and the limited scope of her life. Like Aliza, they are lovely, strong and thriving. The title therefore is very appropriate. They are significant to the plot and it is because of them that Aliza even talks to the tinker. It's also because of them that she realizes at the end that she has been manipulated and, on and only then she envisages who she really is. One thing I found remarkable in this short story was how perfectly it depicts the dynamics of an incompatible couple. Elisa's husband Henry is just clueless about the mental state of Elisa. It is perfectly illustrated at the point when Elisa is sitting in her best clothes, ready to go out for dinner, and Henry suddenly comes and says, you look strong, to which she uh, replies, don't talk like that. We see relationships such as Elisa and Henry all around us in real life, and it's really amazing how things written so far back by Steinbeck are still very true. Gender inequality is another important theme in the tale. For most women, liberation was a bitter fight, usually ending in defeat in the patriarchal society. The chrysanthemums vividly depicts this struggle through the character of Elisa. In a realistic style, rich with symbolism, Steinbeck captures a sense of the 1930s in America in his depiction of the relationships in the story. Though it is portrayed that Elisa is smarter than her husband, it is he who provides for her. She is also envious of the tinker's travels and life on the road. The story shows a strong, capable woman kept from personal, social and sexual fulfillments by the prevailing conception of a woman's role in world dominated by men. The Alisa's appearance, actions and speech depict the frustration women felt in Steinbeck's masculine world of 1930s. The ending of the story was heartbreaking. Just as when everything seemed to go well, things turned southward when Elisa sees the chrysanthemum shoot strewn on the road. I think that the story was an absolute pleasure to read and putting it into context about when it was written, I really appreciate Steinbeck's narration and depth of analysis of a woman's consciousness. Aptly titled, it is a story about Elisa and the women's lives of those times. Uh, and an opinion that I formed about the main character Elisa is that to her the glass always looks greener on the other side. She lives in a protected environment and is unaware of the hardship and struggles of real life. At one point she wishes she could live the vagabond lifestyle of the tinker, moving around cities sleeping in the wagon. To her this seems adventurous. I think that Elisa is totally delusional but still very human-like. I like this story because I am impressed by Steinbeck's deep understanding of the female physique. By effective use of symbols, he does an incredible job of helping us see Elisa both as she thinks she is and also as she really is.